so excited to be here tonight. I've never been so um, awestruck, I guess is the best word, about a community that I've been involved with. I'm one of those weird people who actually loves asking people for money. Um, I know fundraising is not comfortable for most people, but I I'm one of those that that's okay with it. Um, so I, I'm just, I'm so honored to be a part of this incredible community, and I thank everyone for including me and welcoming me so warmly. Um, before today, I had met a grand total of four families and had spoken to one other by email. So you've swept me off my feet today. I'm in love with all of you. I can't wait to get to know you better and to help you with fundraising. So um, my goal tonight is to help everyone feel a little more comfortable about fundraising because without money, we can't do any of this. We would not be researching to find a cure. We would not be having support programs that Hope spoke about. We would not be having a family gathering for sure. So um, it, it takes money and you have all been um, so, so instrumental in that and I'm just looking forward to working with you as we move, as we move forward. Um, and like I said, we are working together. Um, a major focus of the IFOPA because of this is fundraising. And whether fundraising is led by the IFOPA or being created and led by you through Team Cure FOP, our mission is clear. We are working together to cure FOP worldwide. Um, there, the, not only does the IFOPA work to um, fundraise for, for funding for research, but it's also to provide those support programs that Hope spoke about. Um, that's all part of our mission. And there are numerous fundraising initiatives that we at the IFOPA take leadership on on an annual basis. And there are just a few of them I'm going to speak about tonight that support our mission. The first that you're going to hear about a lot in the coming days is Giving Tuesday. Has anyone here ever participated in Giving Tuesday before? No? Oh, Michelle is waving her hands. Okay, well, everybody in this room has an opportunity in just a little over a week. On November 27th, we will be having 2018's Giving Tuesday. And Giving Tuesday is, it started about seven years ago, and it's a global movement to create an international day of giving at the beginning of the holiday shopping season. So you have Black Friday, then you have Cyber Monday, where you're spending on everybody else and, and a little bit on yourself. But then on Giving Tuesday, it's an opportunity to take a step back and think about others and give back. At the IFOPA, the gifts that we receive for Giving Tuesday support the Quality of Life program that Hope spoke about before, which provides uh, funds for items that help individuals affected by F FOP live more independently. So um, again, you'll see a lot about this in the coming days and you'll have an opportunity to participate with gifts. We also manage a national vehicle donation program. The company that we partnered with for this is called Car Easy, and they really make giving a car easy. My best friend called me last week and said, Bailey's car died. It can be repaired, but we don't want to mess with it. Do you guys take donations? Yes, we do. And she donated her car. She sent me some pictures of the tow truck driver picking it up. I have those, Michelle. And, um, and she's super excited to be able to give back, and she said it took her about five minutes of her time. The nice thing about this organization is they will take any, if it's got wheels and an engine, chances are they'll take it. Cars, trucks, boats, planes, RVs, motorcycles, and, um, and the money comes straight back to support the mission of the IFOPA. There will soon be a link to this program on our website to make giving through this process even easier, so you can keep an eye out for that. There are two awareness days that um, we focus on, and I have a feeling a lot of you have been fundraising for these um, during these awareness days anyway before um, I came along, but uh, Rare Disease Day on February 28th and International FOP Awareness Day on April 23rd um, are the two days, and, and we can, we'll create fundraiser pages, campaign pages, social media posts, social media pages, Facebook fundraisers, we'll sell t-shirts, whatever we can to raise both awareness and funds to support our mission. And now I get to tease you a little bit. Where's Chris? There's Chris. Okay. I am so excited about this one. But as part of um, FOP Awareness Day in 2019, I'm working with um, Christopher and Helen Bedford Gay of uh, FOP Friends in the UK to develop an international awareness day uh, called, or awareness initiative called Fun Feet for FOP. 
Helen and Chris developed this. They started this fabulous program in the UK, and I asked if I could sort of poach it from them, and they were gracious enough to say sure, and I think um, working with Chris and Helen and Hannah, we're going to come up with a fabulous program that will work internationally in a fun and creative way to bring awareness to um, the FOP community. Um, Chris, is there anything else you'd like to say about that? I warned you I was going to do this. <laughs> here comes a here comes a mic, Chris. Hang on. Yeah, I've, I've finished now, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, the big one is is when it comes to fruition is to make sure that you share and share and share everything that you do related to Fun Feet for FOP with your friends and your family and encourage your friends and family to share and it just increases awareness, increases the reach, increases the likelihood of touching on other people who will end up supporting you or our community. And it's uh, dead easy. It's gonna be an easy, easy one to get involved with. So yep. get involved, that's the big thing. Thank you. And special thanks to Helen and Chris for being so gracious and, and letting um, us at the IFOPA pull it over here to just have an international um, event. I'm really excited about this and you'll hear more about this in the coming months. A relatively new IFOPA-led initiative is the Million Dollar Bike Ride. We did it for the first time last year and we raised $74,000 which is funding two brand new research grants to find a cure for FOP. Um, this year, um, this is a, an initiative that's sponsored by the Orphan Disease Center at the University of Pennsylvania. If we raise at least $20,000, they will match us dollar for dollar. Uh, this year, they have a cap of $30,000 on what they'll match, but if we raise $30,000, then they're going to give us a free $30,000. So we'll have $60,000 to once again contribute to um, more um, grants for finding a cure. Uh, the way the Million Dollar Bike Ride works is we need at least 10 participants. We can have more, and you fundraise, and you can either bike physically in Philadelphia at the Million Dollar Bike Ride, or you can bike in your own hometown, or you can pretend that you're biking on your couch. And um, as long as you fundraise, you are a virtual participant, and it counts. So you'll hear more about this coming up. It is in Philadelphia on June 8th this coming year in 2019. Um, everybody loves to shop. It's one of my favorite topics. So, um, and we have the holiday shopping season coming up. So there are lots of, um, or actually several uh, shopping programs that the IFOPA is registered with. And it's amazing how much money adds up a little bit at a time if you just go to smile.amazon.com and register and choose the International FOP Association as your charity of choice. And every time you, pr you're going to shop anyway, right? So just do it this way and every time you buy something, a, a portion comes back to us. And especially with the holiday season, this is a uh, holiday shopping season, this is something you'll see about a little bit more um, in the coming weeks just to make sure everybody's reminded that this is a great way to support the IFOPA. Speaking of the holidays, um, most communities have uh, fun runs, whether it's turkey trots, or my husband loves to call it a gobble wobble, or a, um, a reindeer run, anything like that. Um, many of you are doing this anyway, but uh, the IFOPA will create um, these overarching campaigns that you can tag along to and support as well. Um, you don't have to run. That was my favorite thing to find out when my husband first asked me. He said, you can walk this. I'm like, okay, sign me up. Um, but it's a great way to have fun and to raise money and awareness for the IFOPA. Um, Year-end appeals are about as interesting as a, I said last night, they're about as interesting as a, a, a little container of scotch tape, but they are so important. They might not be fun to listen about or to, or to talk about, but they're critical to the, the success of the IFOPA. So in the coming days and weeks, you will hear a lot of year-end appeal messages. Um, the year-end is a, is a time that a lot of people increase their giving to their nonprofits of choice, and um, so we will definitely be reaching out to you about that um, through the next um, month and a half. 
Uh, with virtually all of the IFOPA-led fundraising, you are able to tag along to it, uh, along on it. Um, if it's Giving Tuesday, you can make a Giving Tuesday gift on November 27th. You can also share the links to Giving Tuesday on your social media or in your email with your family and friends. Um, on the, with the vehicle donation program, you can give your, you can donate a vehicle, you can share those links with your family and friends. Perhaps they have a vehicle they'd like to give. On um, rare disease and FOP awareness days, you can um, have your own fundraising campaign, you can tag along with ours, you can share those links via social media and email. The million dollar bike ride, you can bike virtually, you can bike um, physically in Philadelphia, you can bike from, from in your hometown and fundraise along with us and help us get that dollar for dollar match. Um, with the shopping program, since you're going to shop anyway, you can use Amazon, uh, smile.amazon.com or some others that are on our website. Turkey trots, gobble wobbles, whatever you want to call them, reindeer runs, you will be able to um, tag along to those as well and fundraise in your own communities. And um, you can certainly get involved with Fun Feet for FOP next, next March and April. And finally, with the year-end appeal, you can make a year-end gift. And you can also share the links that you'll see from us in email and social media with your family and friends. OK, that's a quick look at what the IFOPA is doing with some of our initiatives. That's not everything by any means, but that's some of it. Um, in addition to that, um, a tremendous amount of our annual revenue comes from the fundraising that you are doing through Team Cure FOP. Um, as a Team Cure FOP fundraiser, um, you can, the, the, the ways are countless, but you can fundraise through Facebook fundraisers, whether it's, well, I'll get to that in a second. You can do personalized pages on your website. You can do events, great and small, um, multiple events, single events, whatever works. But the, the message that I want to make sure that I send with you tonight is that I understand that I'm the odd one out. I mean, I understand that fundraising is not comfortable for most people. But it is for me, so use me. I am here to serve you. I am here to partner with you, and I'm here to help you every step of the way. If there is an event you want to do, or you're curious about Facebook fundraising, or you're curious, curious about a personalized face, uh, page on our website, but you're not sure where to start, call me, and I'm here to walk, walk it with you. If you choose to do a Facebook fundraiser, there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can donate your birthday. I saw several hands um, go up when Michelle asked, but who here has donated their birthday before to f on Facebook? Okay, quite a few. Um, that is something every one of us on Facebook can easily do. What about just creating a, for a cause, the FOP being your cause? Um, have you ever done a Facebook fundraiser that's not your birthday? Some people have. I probably get about 10 Facebook fundraiser requests a week from my Facebook community. Most of them are about birthdays, but, it, but I do get a good percentage of requests just to support a cause. So there's no reason we can't do that either. Um, personalized pages on the IFOPA website. Who here, had, I know there are a lot of them because there are just so many, but who in this room has a personalized page on, on the website? You do? Okay, quite a few. If you don't, this is a great place to start. Um, this is just a quick look at, there are so many more. I just, all I did was take a screenshot just to show you the start of the list of personalized Facebook pages. And you can see from the totals that are raised how effective this is and how much money comes back to the IFOPA to support those support programs and also fund research to find a cure. If you do not have a personalized page and you want one, I strongly recommend it and I am here to help you. I'll help you from start to finish. And another way you can raise funds is through doing an event. And I know a lot of you, the first thing you're going to think is, I can't do that. It's too much. And if you're thinking about the major events like a casino night or a bingo night like the Scoble Flexer family um, has done, how many, how many years have you, have you done that? Twelfth year? OK. It's a huge event now, right? How big was it when you started? We'll start again. Can you hear me now? Oh. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? 
Um, the first year we had about 600 people attend, and okay. now we're up to about 1,700. Wow. Uh, yeah. Which includes about 100 volunteers. That's amazing. And how much? What's the date ma next year? March 17th. In Allentown? In Patty's Day. In Allentown, okay. PA. Town, PA, okay. And how much money cumulati cumulatively have you raised? After this year's event, we should hit a million dollars. Wow. That's our goal. That's amazing. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, some of you are hearing that, especially if you've never done an event before and you're thinking, no way, I can't do it. And I understand that. Suzanne Hollywood, you did a shopping event, right? I'm coming. Here it goes. Um, in the past, we've done two. Joey's godmother is a store manager at the Talbots, and Talbots actually sets it up. And um, we just did one last November. We'll probably be doing another one in the spring. And I also have a contact with Alex and Annie that they'll oh, do nice. a shopping event for a charity event for us, too. Nice. So nice. that's just, it's really simple. They, you know, companies will just... They'll do it from a time period, and they'll give you a percentage of the sales. They take call-in, online orders, and women love to shop. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, um, the Hickson family, I think I heard, where's the Hickson family? Did you guys do a 5K? The Samson Strong 5K. Yes, uh, we did. Uh, we've done two 5Ks. Uh, we did not do one this year. Um, I, we have a two-year-old, so I took this year off to just be mom. Um, instead of advocate, but we've done two 5Ks and cumul cumulatively probably raised around $30,000. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. And Amy Gordon, how many years have you done Zipper Q while the mic is on its way? Seven years. I'll get to you in a second, whoever barked. <laughs> yes, we've done it seven years. Okay. And how much money have you raised cumulatively? A little over 800000 Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> so we have some large events like Zipper Q and the Bingo event, but we also have the shopping night at Talbot, Talbot's. And Christy was sharing with me from the Scoble family was sharing with me that um, they also did a candle fundraiser where they sell candles. And it was simple, painless, very easy and quick, and raised a couple thousand dollars selling a few hundred candles. Um, so there, are, you can do a car wash, you can do a lemonade stand, you can have an all-out gala, you can um, have a food truck rodeo, you can do a fundraising dinner, you can, it, the sky's the limit. The events you can do can be tiny, they can be huge, I will help you if it's a, a, an appropriate thing and makes sense, I or Michelle, or Michelle and I will come to the event and help you execute it. Um, literally, every step of the way, we'll be there for you. Um, I'd like to take this time to show you um, just a, a glimpse of what some families are doing and some different ideas that they have for fundraising. I think we started fundraising out of lack of not knowing what else to do. After Joshua was diagnosed, everybody's kind of asking what can we do to help. Everybody wanted to do something, we just didn't know where to start. Once I started saying, well, we could do this, we could do that, everybody just kind of jumped on the bandwagon and it just kind of exploded from there. And your first number, I-19. Today we're having our 11th annual Bingo for a Cure event. We have about 1,700 people here today playing bingo. We have about 300 baskets on our raffle. We have t-shirts for sale, we have big good sales going on. I hope we can raise $100,000 this year and all the money we raise goes to research for FOP. Here at the IFOPA, we are so grateful to the families that amongst all of the other things that they have going on in their lives, take the time and put the energy forth in asking others to come and join in with them to raise funds that go directly to the work of the mission of the IFOPA. Our first fundraiser was a small community event. It was a tri-tip fundraiser. A couple hundred people attended and, and bought sandwiches. And not only did they buy sandwiches, but they made donations. And this is why uh, even the small fundraisers can amount to be so huge. The first year we did a golf tournament and we did a haircut-a-thon with massage. And then we also had a sit-down dinner with it. And we had auctions. It was fun, exhausting, 
and fun and gratifying. <laughs> Hayden's Hope Fundraiser started the year after he was diagnosed. It was a combination of a silent and live auction. We always did it in the holidays. It was my holiday party. Now, instead of doing silent live auctions, I do a run in June. I have a group of girlfriends that come run with me and we do a social media campaign. It's really important to do fundraisers, no matter how big or small. I did a big um, multi-vendor fundraiser online with a bunch of different vendors and they all donated money to FOP. It's difficult to ask for money. I have a problem asking for money, but when you get a cause in your head, it's not always about the money. If you have a passion, people will give. You share your story, and it's amazing how people will give. Because they want to feel like they're helping on your journey, and this is the one thing that they can do. Thank you so much for coming out today. The reaction when we ask people to donate is overwhelming. People just, they open up their hearts, and they're just willing to do anything for you. It, yeah, it's amazing. If you're willing to give of yourself financially, that's what it's about. I'm blessed, I'm healthy, so anyone that is sick, I'm, I'm there to give. They need all the help they can get, so I'm out here spending my money. <laughs> to date, we've raised about $880,000. Have fun today, good luck. With today, I'm hoping that'll put us at the 980000 and then I hope for next year's event, we will be able to hit a $1 million mark. Most of the money that's raised for FOP research and that has been raised over the last 20 years has come from family fundraisers. Without that, we would be nowhere. The fundraisers are critical because they allow us to explore the targets that the pharmaceutical companies are using to develop the drugs that will treat and hopefully cure FOP. It's really great to raise money for research because we're getting really close to finding a cure for FOP. Every time we do a fundraiser or we participate in a fundraiser, it is the best feeling in the world. You walk out of there feeling on top of the world because you've done something that's going to make a difference. My message to families that are affected by FOP is to just get involved. No matter how little or how big uh, you think it is, it, you have to get involved. No one else is going to do it for us. It's a rare disease. It's on us. That was perfect, perfect timing. From... There were so many great ideas talked about in this video, and um, I love it because it shows you just the, the breadth of ideas, a haircut-a-thon. I mean, you can be as creative as you know how to be or as any of us at the IFOPA or your friends in the FOP community know how to be, and we'll, we'll support it all. By the way, important for you to know is that the fundraising page of our website is getting redesigned. And there are very soon going to be just lists of ideas for you broken into categories that will just be a great starting point, a good springboard for you to come up with ideas of um, the types of events you might be interested in. And again, I can't drive this home enough. I'm here to help. I'm here every step of the way, whether you want to come up with brainstorm on ideas or um, you just need logistical and execution help. How do I pull this off? If you need um, me to create a campaign page for you or a registration page for you, or if you just need awareness materials and you need me to send you bracelets or whatever you need for your um, event, I'm here to do it. I want to go backwards for just a second because Christy, where I, I think I missed you, Chris, Christy, I missed you before, but um, you participated in the million dollar bike ride, right? Okay, can you talk a little bit about that since this is a br almost a brand new event? I'd just love to hear, have everybody here. Okay, so everybody told me I didn't have to ride. <laughs> Nobody told you you well, didn't have to ride? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, another family and my husband and I, um, we rode 24 miles in Philadelphia um, for the million dollar bike ride. He plans to ride 72 miles next year. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> it was an absolutely amazing event. Um, tons of very family friendly, um, families on the sidelines, friends on the sidelines, everybody cheering everybody on. And they had a huge party at the end. Um, us, the Martucci family, and their family and friends rode, and um, I think we're all riding, and a team from Clementia Pharmaceuticals. So it was phenomenal. Thank you, thank you. 
Um, okay, so this is my contact information. I don't expect you to take a screenshot of it or um, you know, a picture or anything, but I've got plenty of, of um, business cards with me. I'll be here all weekend. I'll be at the store, and that's another great way for you to support the um, IFOPA is to come buy some things. We have some new things there, too, and just keep in mind that not only are you supporting the IFOPA financially when you purchase those things, but you're also helping us to not have to pack them up and ship them back, um, so that would be very much appreciated, and it saves on postage, but Thank you so much for welcoming me into this incredible community. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to be here and to be serving you as you and I both work together along with the entire team of the IFOPA and all of the FOP community to cure FOP worldwide. Thank you. So what I didn't get to say is Catherine started at the IFOPA on October 1st. So she is amazing. She has learned so much. She's redesigned parts of the website. So and just embraced our community. And that's what I just love so much about being here is I love, you know, people say, what do you do for a living? And I say, you know, I work, get the opportunity to work for a nonprofit organization for people with an ultra rare musculoskeletal disease. And I say, and they say, well, what do you love about that so much? I say, I love these incredible people that face the challenges of this disease head on, their families that love and support them. I get to like meet the most incredibly brilliant researchers and clinicians that just care so much about their patients. I get to work with pharma. Don't ever say pharma is bad because pharma is amazing. These are incredible people that go to work every day trying to cure diseases. Um, and I get to work with the most amazing team. So you've met a couple of our team members tonight. You're going to get to meet Adam and Mary Ann in more detail on Sunday. But just stop us and ask. We did put in your folders a brand new IFOPA brochure. All of our contact information is in here, how to find some of us on Facebook or Twitter, how to call us, how to email us. We are here to partner with you and to serve you. And so we just hope that you'll take advantage of the opportunity. Um, are there any other questions before we head out for the night, whether you want to go sit downstairs and chat with other people or go to a place next door or just sit in the lobby? Any other questions that you all have for us as, while we're together as a group? So, yeah, we're super excited, and we just hope that you have um, a wonderful, wonderful weekend um, connecting and learning and growing together individually and as a community. Have a great night.